Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm going to show you guys on YouTube how to get the recordings of your video games and of any console or whatever up to good quality. So first of all, after you record your image, or I mean, not your image, your video, I use Pinnacle Studio 12 down here. Um, you want to, uh, let me show you. Okay. Well, actually, what what you should do is get this Pinnacle Studio 12. When you have it, you got to capture and it'll probably pop, I feel like it'll pop up here, here, right here. That's my video game that I was playing. And uh, you got to set up uh, capture format and wait, go to capture source first. It has to be six, 16 by 9 because on YouTube. 16 by 9 is high quality and HD. And NTSC uh, is standard. And then also capture format has to be AVI. And um, it's either you have to do it custom and then do the compression to JPEG. JPEG and uh, then the percent is, uh, is 100 and all that. 720 by 480. So once you have that, I'll press OK. Also, when you record, you want to record with, um, if you want the best quality with the S video cable, so you're, you're going to have to get S video cable for your Xbox. So just go down to Circus City, or not Circus City anymore because they're out of business, but like Radio Shark or whatever, and get an S video cord for it, or Best Buy, or whatever place that has it. Okay, after you record it, here's what the video will look like. I'll show you the original. Right here. Here's an example of it, what it looks like now. Let me fast forward a little bit. Okay, as you see, it looks really, really good. But it's not going to look good in the actual thing. So, And you can see that there's lines right there whenever it hits. So you want to get rid of those. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we go to, you have to download Virtual Dub right here and this program uh, lets you deinterlace interlace videos to make it really good so let me get this video put it in here okay this is what it actually looks like and if you put it on YouTube and it looks really bad so what you want to do is go to um, video filters go to add and then go to field swap and then right after field swap, wait, no, let me show you this. It looks, it looks a lot better. See, it cleared out all the things, but it still has those lines. Now, to make it even better, um, go to filters again, go to add, and then go to deinterlace. And then the top one is really good for uh, high quality, but it won't be as smooth. The, the interpolate and the blend fields will be a lot smoother, but it won't be as good quality. So if you want good quality, so if that if that is what you're going for, then go for interpolate. Go to OK, and all the settings is, is OK. So go to OK. There you go. You have the lines that went away, and it looks really good. And here's a preview. Um, yeah, I was kind of doing bad at the start, but haven't played Rock Band in a while. <laughs> Been practicing on my real drums, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So, yeah. And if you guys have any questions about anything, oh wait, wait, no, never mind, I forgot one thing. You export it, export it to an AVI file. Right here, I save as AVI, and um, after you open it, you can open it with any editing software, or whatever, and edit it to make your own montage or whatever. So there you have it. That's how you get your high-quality videos off your.